This tutorial is going to be how to create a dynamic countdown which is then going to redirect us to a website. Now if I click back in my browser you can see how this is going to work. If I just refresh, um, what this script is essentially doing is it's counting down, um, the page isn't reloading, but this number is changing. Now as obviously as soon as it hits zero we're going to be redirected to a page of our choice uh, which is the phpacademy.org landing page. Now the way this works is we use jQuery. Uh, so if I just um, open up a blank document, um, we're going to start. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set up our page as usual. So I'm going to create my HTML tags, my header tags, and my body tags. Now what this countdown is really useful for is, you've probably seen it on websites where they redirect down and you have to wait or maybe watch an advert while you're... Uh, while you're waiting to uh, enter a page. So it's really useful for things like that. Now, we're using jQuery, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this uh, outline of this script include, and I'm gonna set the source to jQuery, jQuery.js. Now I have this file saved on my computer, but it can be downloaded from jQuery.com. Um, the type is text and JavaScript, as if you were creating a, a normal JavaScript area to write. And this is all we need to include our file. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is script type equals text forward slash JavaScript. But this time I'm going to leave this section open in order for me to type my code in here. Okay, so um, we're going to create a div, um, and the div is going to be called box. And this is just going to allow us to um, update this div area in here um, consistently um, or constantly. Um, for the countdown, so we need to dynamically change it without being able to refresh the page. And this is perfect, um, obviously using JavaScript, and we're using the help of jQuery. Now, the first thing we want to do is set up our document loading. Uh, so document.ready, and then inside here, we're gonna say function, and we're gonna create a block here in which um, our text is going to go. So I'm gonna put a semicolon um, on there, and down here, our code is gonna go in here. Okay, so let's just come down to here. Okay, so we're gonna create a couple of variables first, and this is gonna be number equals 10. Um, this is the default value um, we're gonna to use to count down from, so we're gonna be counting down from 10. And the URL, that's just gonna equal nothing for now. Um, come down a couple of lines, and we're gonna create a few functions, so, or a couple of functions rather. The first thing we're going to do is create the uh, countdown function. This is the actual um, this is the actual function that's going to, you know, every second it's going to update uh, update our div, um, and eventually it's going to redirect. Okay, so I'm going to create the function. We're going to call it countdown, and inside here we are going to set the time out first of all. And obviously we're using uh, the function countdown. So we're setting the time out of the function countdown, which is the one we're currently inside. And that's gonna be a thousand, because a thousand milliseconds is um, a second. So every second this, is gonna, this function is going to repeat itself. Now what, what we want to do is we want to update um, our div, which is called box. And we want to set the HTML value of this div. Now I'm gonna say redirect redirecting in, and I mean to say plus number, plus seconds. So let's just tidy this up a bit. Okay, so what oh, what this is doing is it's taking the uh, number here that we've set up here, and we're saying redirecting in something seconds. Now we need this number to change each time. Uh, and the way we do this is we just say number minus minus. So this is gonna uh, decrease the value each time this countdown loops. And it's looping uh, as many times as we want with the interval of a thousand uh, milliseconds, which is a second. Now we, uh, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll just uh, preview that. Let's go back to our page and refresh. Okay, nothing at the moment. Obviously we need to call this function, so countdown. And let's refresh. Redirecting in 10 seconds. Now you can see this is gradually counting down. So we've got our effect, everything's working. But at the moment we've got no if statement or anything like that to say when we need to redirect. 
as you can see it's already gone into minus figures and this is not what we want what we want is as soon as it to get as soon as it gets to um, zero we need it to redirect so with a simple if statement we can do this we just say if number is less than zero uh, just in case it misses uh, it we don't want to say equals just in case um, we say window dot location equals URL now the URL is up here at the moment is set to nothing but in another function we're going to create in a minute we're going to allow the user to specify that themselves um, so uh, yeah and then we're just going to say number equals zero to make sure if the page is loading um, what's going to happen is if the page loads to uh, the, the, sorry the URL that's being redirected to if that takes a while to load the time is still going to count down so the user is still going to be see sort of minus one minus two we're going to make sure the number stays at zero um, just uh, for neatness really so let's refresh that oh, no, we need to come down here and we need to say countdown okay so up here I'm just gonna pop a URL and I'm gonna say phpacademy.org okay so let's refresh that's uh, redirecting in 10 seconds so it's counting down as we want it to when it hits zero it should stay at zero and then it should redirect to uh, phpacademy.org and there we go now let's just say um, that when the user calls this function um, we don't want it to ha just necessarily redirect to phpacademy.org and we don't necessarily want it to redirect in 10 seconds we want to be able to create a function that's going to be allow the user to say say 10 and specify uh, a site of their choice so we need to create a new function that's going to be able to change these variables up here these global variables up here so this function is going to be called let's just go up here and create it we're going to call this function redirect okay I'm going to have a couple of parameters in here the first one is going to be called the, is the number um, and the next one is the URL so we'll say number and URL now in here we want to say number equals number and URL equals URL now what this is doing is it's taking the parameters in here and setting these global variables to what we specify and then all we need to do is run the countdown function so you can see the way that that works if we come down here we can test it and I'm gonna say redirect uh, I want to redirect in three seconds and again I want to redirect to phpacademy.org so we can see we will go back and we refresh aha maybe not uh, let's just have a look at our code and review this okay so I think what what we might do is we might just change we might just change these in here um, I'm gonna call this one go to and I'll call this one num um, and we can just change these um, maybe they're interfering so let's just test that let's refresh okay yeah so it's worked so we're redirecting three seconds to phpacademy.org let's just double check um, we can change that and then it works so obviously um, these uh, parameter names here we're interfering with the actual variable names that we've already set so let's redirect in five seconds to google.co.uk and see if that works and we can refresh go back and refresh okay so five four and then that should count down and we should get a redirect to Google okay so yeah it's worked so you can see how um, easy it is to achieve that countdown effect um, like I said this can be used for a variety of different applications um, as you've seen um, in my example we do have a PHP Academy landing page um, so visit phpacademy.org and bookmark this and you can access a variety, a variety of different areas of PHP including the forum if you're stuck with any tutorials um, you can get on there and get some help okay thanks for watching